Hello folks, Easy Rider here. Welcome to my next video. Today I want to talk about a somewhat controversial subject. How to properly clean and lubricate your O-ring or X-ring chain. Stay with me. And welcome back. Uh, today it's November in Ohio. It's about 30 something degrees out. It's been off and on snowing all day for your metric people. That's about zero uh, centigrade. Anyway, a little chilly out here in the garage today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. I'm going to show you how to properly clean a chain. Uh, and then later I'll go into uh, why you do it that way and why you don't want to use harsh cleaners. So for you low, uh, low attention span people, the first part of it will be real quick, how to clean the chain, and then after that you can go on to do whatever you guys do. The rest of you that stick around, I will explain why you don't want to use harsh cleaners on an O-ring chain. So here we go. All right, to properly clean a chain, what I use is just the same uh, soapy water that I use to uh, clean the bike. And before we get too far, I use a uh, cleaning brush, car cleaning brush, that you can buy at Walmart or any store like that to uh, wash the bike, and it makes it a whole lot faster. That's a trick I learned. I used to sell cars and uh, go back there and get them detailed. They use these brushes like this. Anyway, what you need is just simply a brush that looks like this. You can get them at uh, Walmart or you can get these online. These are a chain cleaning brush. You dip it in the soapy water and then you come over to your chain and then you just clean the chain. I don't want, I got oil on it now so I don't want to do it. But anyway, you clean the chain using that and you kind of go that way. You can go around to the uh, sprocket and clean it this way. Anyway, you want to use one of these uh, brushes. These are made for uh, cleaning and only use soapy water. Uh, after you're done cleaning, let the chain dry. What I like to use for oil is this DuPont stuff. You get this at Walmart too or whatever you want. The way I, why I like it is because it's wax based. And if you look at the chain, it doesn't get all gooey and oily looking. And uh, it does kind of spray off a little bit and get everywhere, but uh, I kind of like it. Now, the only reason you're really using that oil to give it a little bit of lubrication, but also to try to cut down on this rust that you'll see from the chain just sitting there, you know, because anytime metal's out in the open air, it will rust. So that's how you clean a chain. It's really simple, soapy water. So now I'm going to get into the controversy part. A lot of people will tell you the way to clean a chain is with kerosene or with diesel fluid. Now, the reason they say that is because way back when in the old days before O-ring chains, that's how people used to clean them. But if you do that today, you will destroy your chain. And let me explain why. The parts of a chain are the side plates. That's this kind of figure eight looking thing. The pin which holds the two parts of the chain together. And then there's an inner side plate, and then there's a little roller on top. That roller is what's kind of connecting to your sprocket over here. It goes around. So you got a roller, side plates, pins. Inside that roller on an O-ring chain is grease from the factory. Grease is impregnated into the inside of the uh, roller and then to keep that grease in, kind of between these plates right here, are little O-rings or X-rings or whatever the hell they use at this point. And the O-rings keep the grease inside the roller. Uh, as the chain starts going around the bike, it's making heat and friction, friction and heat. And that grease of over time will uh, wear out and uh, then your chain will start stretching. But in the old days, one of the first chains I had on my uh, 1980 Harley, every time I took that thing for a ride, I almost pretty much either every time or every other time I had to adjust the chain. This chain right here is the one I got stocked from uh, 
The bike, it's a 19 uh, Africa Twin. It's got 6,000 miles on it. I've adjusted it once. I also try to keep my chain, you know, right where they tell it to be, like an inch and a half. But a loose chain is better than a tight chain. The reason you don't want a tight chain is as the shocks go up and down, that chain can get really tight, and that's what stretches it. Uh, my wife's Honda Rebel. I think we got 30,000 miles out of her chain, and I only adjusted it a handful of times. Anyway, the reason you do not want to put kerosene or uh, any type of uh, really harsh detergent on this is because that detergent's going to seep in there between those X-rings and it's going to destroy the grease that's inside of there. Like I said, old habits are hard to, to break. A lot of people that, you know, have had chains or their dads had chains or their grandpas had chains, that's how they did it. And some habits are hard to kill. But you'll destroy those, those O-rings with that harsh stuff. And then once the O-rings go, that oil in there, the grease inside those bearings are going to go really, really fast. And when that happens, you got basically an old-time chain again. And uh, it's just going to stretch, stretch, stretch and be useless in no time. Now, really the only reason that you put this stuff on is to try to keep the rust from uh, happening, which kind of works a little bit. Anyway, I hope that helps. I mean, if you think about it, you know, a real harsh uh, deter you know, real harsh detergents like uh, diesel fuel and uh, and kerosene's just going to eat that stuff away, and then you're going to have a piece of junk chain on your hands. So, like I said, simple brush with uh, soapy water is more than enough to clean. Now that chain right there, I go off roading all the time. Look how clean it is. It takes me no time, and it's nice and clean. Anyway, hope it helps. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down below. If you like what you hear, like and subscribe. Have a great day.